Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're going to get started working on page four and then follow that up with page five. I think I can get both of these done in a single video, but we'll see how time permits. Okay, so we're going to start by doing some color blocking here on the base page. Both of these images um, are from the 12 by 12 collection. So you're going to start with... This panel is actually winds up being four and three eighths. Let me look at this one. Okay, so you're gonna take the 12 by 12 and split this in half. So this is six inches wide. So start with that, and then you're gonna trim this pattern to fit. And there's there'll be a, a color block seam between the two. <clears throat> just a little bit more yeah okay, the rest of it's inked Now for the top of this, I have what is 11 by seven and a half. 11 by seven and a half, you're gonna score it five and a half inches. So you're gonna have five and a half by seven finished panel. Then I cut out and matted and have a a score trim. This is one of the cut aparts from the 12 by 12. So this is going to be uh, placed directly under the card and it's going to be the flap that keeps it closed. And I'm going to have it off center like so. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and then we can locate our magnet and decorate. I put the tape on the wrong side so I'm using a little bit of glue here. Because um, if I flip it around, this image will be upside down. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and put down the second magnet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this is going to get it here just like so. Sorry, I'm going to stack up my papers. All right, let me rescore that. Okay, and this is just going to get centered. For the inside, I'm going to use this black and cream. Okay, it's going to go right here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> okay, and then we're going to introduce the tan down here. It looks like I need to ink it. down. Now I've got a backing for this, and it's just another one of the cut apart, so it fits here perfectly. introduce this pattern here. <clears throat> I don't have a big enough piece of this pattern to cover this whole panel. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. So I am going to do some color blocking to get me by. By the way, I used 112 by 12 DCE, 18 by 8 DCE, and then I used an additional 12 sheets of the 12 by 12. Oh, not 12. How many sheets? Whatever. One, uh, one set of the... I'll have to look that up. It'll be in the um, cut list. See if I can find something wider. It's on the flip side. <clears throat> I think I'm down to, you know, pretty small pieces. But I'll see. Maybe I've got. <clears throat> That's just too much, I think. I need one more piece of that. I did this out of order. So page four and five are the last two pages that I'm doing. And that's why I'm shuffling around looking at scraps because that's all I got left. Uh, I don't have any full solid sheet. Oh, I have these. This is what I have left, and I just don't care for it. I've already used that pattern somewhere, and I don't, I don't really like it here. So I've got two of these, which we'll do in a pinch. But what I really want is more of that. So I'm going to dig around a little bit more, and then I may pause and get started on page... Five. I'm going to come back to page four. 
Let's go ahead and do page five. I'm gonna glue down the stuff I already have picked out. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing with this little flap here. We're gonna add some glue and we're gonna use it to hold our card shut. magnet. Laying this down again is six inches across. I'm gonna make sure we've got this right side up. This will likely need to be trimmed just slightly, yeah. Now for this side, I did have a piece large enough to cover this. <clears throat> so this pattern I hadn't used or featured on any of the other pages and that's why I wanted to make sure I was using it somewhere. Um, the other pages have quite a bit of black, so this one's kind of the light series. <clears throat> Side, we are going to reintroduce um, the black pattern, um, but instead of going horizontally, we're going to go vert vertically. So I'll add these and then I'll trim this tan to fit. And then we'll pull page four back in and figure out how we're going to cover that. Here's the backing for here. Isn't that pretty? She looks pretty. Oh, I 
forgot to tell you the measurement. That is 11. I think it's 11 by 9, but I'll check it real quick. And of course, it should be coming by in the banners if it hasn't already. Uh, 11 by six and a half, 11 by six and a half. So it is a finished six and a half by five and a half panel. Okay, so now we're going to split this between these two pages. One more time up here. So that is page five. Let's pull page four back in. So I definitely want to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and color or ink this. So I'm going to uh, can introduce this. Which I'm not crazy about, but it's not bad. What do you guys think? Or I can do the black. Just a strip of black right there. But then it looks like I need something black over here, doesn't it? Yes, it does. What a strip of red. That's what it's gonna be. Five and three eighths. Just about an inch wide. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not crazy about it, but it works. Of course, if you have a picture here, none of this is going to get noticed. <laughs> not quite 
Ooh, I gotta make sure I'm covering up. Ooh, it's right in the middle of my magnet. That's no good. That's not good. So that means this strip has to be wider. It has to be that wide. Okay. Readjusting. I can't move my magnet because that's already glued. So I'm just going to make the red wider and the um, flowers narrower. So this is going to be two inches. Okay, now this is two inches wide. I like this. Let's see. I like this better. So I'm going to trim it to fit. I think it softens it. There we go. So that's page four, page five. <clears throat> <coughs> Trying to decide if I need to pull this pattern in somewhere. Um, hmm. going to create just a little um, mat up here and add it. I think I'm going to like that. So this is a scrap and it is two two by three and a half.
definitely like it vertical. I'm competing with this line, so that's it either needs to be way over here or over here, like so. Kind of going back and forth. Hmm, I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna leave that. I might try tucking a couple of other things under to see what I like, but that's pretty much page four and page five. And these are meant to um, house larger format photos. So you can do a five by seven with a half inch around it. And over here you can do um, a five by six photo um, with a uh, a half inch around it so uh, both will have nice borders so you'll have three five by sevens and three five by sixes over here so that's it next time we get together we'll be doing the walkthrough so i'll see you guys soon